Digital health is a way of empowering the individual citizen, and this is really the way that you can gain from prevention, from making sure that people don't get ill in the first place, but then if they do have an illness, that, that they are able to better contact their doctor, their nurses, the healthcare system, and have better access to help when they need it, and this also allows the healthcare system to work more efficiently. The main work areas that we're addressing right now are clear legal frameworks to ensure that investors have a clear route to uh, return on their investment and to making sure that consumers, medical professionals and the society are able to have trust and to be sure of the security of digital approaches in health and research and innovation. Well, we think that the code of conduct which we're facilitating with the industry on mHealth app privacy and security and the guidelines on linking apps to electronic healthcare records are part of the picture. As well, we're about to launch a public consultation on apps and other non-embedded software on the safety issues. This is not creating new barriers to entry, but just making sure we're actually asking at this point whether unsafe items are on the market. The technology by itself doesn't solve anything, but is part of a process of reforming a healthcare system, increasing access, doing things in an innovative and new and better way. Technology can be an excellent tool in the hands of the doctors, the other healthcare professionals, but then the technology has to be user centric both for the individual citizen and for the medical professional. Well, in the near term, it's, I think, the smartphone and the tablets, it's the mobile applications. Uh, in the longer term, this is why I emphasize the future-proofing of technologies. I mean, we in a bureaucracy or even in the private sector or in the health systems, we can't predict ev everything. So I think things are going to pop up out of the research of inno and innovation, which we also support, that we can't predict. The direction should be empowering the citizen, moving to better results. Because I think a lot of the major actors in the area are here, we in the European Commission, very much do like to underline transparency. We want to speak to the users, whether they are in the systems, the medical professionals, also obviously the startup and private sector community, as well as the governments. So we're here to present what we're trying to do together with them, and also to hear what other people are doing, and hopefully to learn from that.